This is the future 6.1. Hey guys, welcome to vlog number four. As you can see, I'm wearing the brand new NJ Puma Neymar tees. They are out on aupuma.com. You can go and check those out. Previously, they were just in Europe and I think the USA, they weren't even in South America. Now we've got them in Australia, so you can check out the, uh, I'll leave a link below and you'll be able to go and have a look and you'll be able to find your size. Um, obviously, I'm over the moon. I'm super excited that Neymar's now signed with Puma. Neymar's been killing it in the Puma Kings as well. Champions League, League on, just, it's Neymar, it's Neymar. Anyway, moving on. Um, this I copped in a fresh drop from Puma. And I also picked up uh, two of, I got a pair of shoes and I got the slides from Kid Super Studios. So it's Kid Super X Puma. They've actually made a Puma King for Hector Bellerin. It's super, super cool. Um, I don't know if it's gonna come to Australia though, but we have got the slides, which are these here. They're very different. They're very different, yeah? And they're made from like, I believe it's it's like a play on some um, football training products. But just super cool, man. The details, and also because it's got a story about football. Kid super likes football himself. Hector Bellerin, that kind of stuff. I had to get these. These are the, uh, the slides. And also, I grabbed... They've got a lot, of, a lot of packaging on these, yeah? A lot of packaging. Actually, I want to show you guys, yeah? Look at this. Look at the box here. So you can see that there's like a football here. There's actually, I don't know if that's like Pele. I don't know if that's Pele there. I like to think it's Pele maybe if it's doing a scissor kick because the football's there. Kids super. Anyway, we'll open these up. The, the packaging for this is like unbelievable. I'm just gonna show you one, yeah? I'll just show you one. I've already put this on my Instagram story. Like, have a look at the details on this. I'll hold it a bit closer. It's just unbelievable. All the little details. You've got the Puma swoosh here, Kid Super Studios on the back. It's just super cool. And the story with football. This is the Style Rider Kid Super. So this is the runner. This is the casual shoe. Just super, super cool, man. Anything like this, like football culture, and especially that it's had Hector Bellerin's uh, input, as well as Kid Super, obviously. I had to get this, I had to get these pairs. Okay, so moving on, now that we've talked about the Puma X Kid Super collaboration, I wanted to talk about that because I think that's super cool what they did with Hector Bellerin and Kid Super. I love collabs like that. A bit like the baller one they did with Griezmann. Um, I'm gonna talk to you now about the Turbo Pack. So, the reason why I've got my futures in here is because prior to me filming this vlog, I did a session in them. Uh, a training session. So, this is the future 6.1 turbo pack. What an absolutely immaculate boot. It's got all the specifications of a 6.1 previously, of the Chasing Adrenaline pack, uh, which you guys would have seen in my video. Actually, that video is coming tomorrow. Um, I've got the MG studs. These are the firm ground studs. Okay, so these are the FG. We've got the conical at the front, got the blades toward the back. <sighs> I have to say now, because I tried the Puma Kings. I tried the Puma Kings, the Platinums, obviously, because Neymar has them. I tried the Puma One, which was before the Ultra. I've tried the Futures. I tried the 5.1s. The Future 6.1 is easily the best Puma boot I've worn. The most comfortable, um, the one that suits, I feel, my style of play or the way I like to move on the pitch or when I'm training, when I'm dribbling with the ball, when I'm controlling the ball, the Future 6.1 is easily my favorite boot. This color, hands down my favorite. Um, I'm actually not sure what's coming next <laughs> because I said this about the Rise Up pack. I love the Rise Up pack. But this pink is just unbelievable. This is some like Pink Panther levels. Like this, this color here with all black is unbelievable, you know? Like you need techers to be wearing these. You gotta come with more than just, 
an Elastico or an Acker 3000. There's gotta be more there, you know? Some ankle breakers, combos. That's what you need if you're gonna wear these pink ones. This one's for the real playmakers. Absolutely love these boots, you know? Uh, and the session, literally, my training session, I took the, the paper out, like I did with the Rise Up, put them on, and man, I had no issues. I had no issues at all. This is very comfortable, the uh, net fit tongue, the elasticated tongue. Honestly, like when I, when I say to adjust to your feet, it, it moves, yeah? So if you've got a wide foot, like me, it will expand. Um, if not, I think you find it very, you know, it's super comfortable. It's super, super comfortable. Great boot, love these boots. Anyway, I'm gonna put these away because now, uh, I'm actually gonna open up the Ultra. I've got the Ultra as well. The Ultra 1.1 from the Turbo Pack. Now, I've seen these boots already, but I'm gonna show you guys as well. This is a super, super nice boot. Like the details are unbelievable. Just the colors that go through the knit, like the knitted upper is unreal. I've worn the Ultra 1.1, I had the Eclipse Pack. Um, again, it was a very comfortable boot, it was a nice boot. Um, it's not for me because it's very slim. Again, I have a wide foot, you know, I prefer my uh, Future 6.1. Um, but in terms of wearing a speed boot, it didn't give me any blisters. Uh, I found it very easy dribbling the ball, you know, doing the agility work, moving in and out of cones, ladders, passing, all that kind of stuff, controlling the ball as well. I didn't feel that it was too thin. So it was actually a really, uh, really nice boot. But again, uh, for me, the future is up here in terms of comfort, in terms of how long you can actually wear it on your feet, and it doesn't really feel like you're wearing um, a boot as such. But I'm gonna give you guys a close up now of this boot because you need to actually see what I'm talking about in terms of the details, right? So you can tell I've just got these, yeah? These are brand new, so let me just sort them out for a bit, but have a look at the details, and you can see the colors change. So they've got like that rainbow bit, and then it goes into the pink. It's just super nice. And they've got the Puma on the inside of the heel here. I actually love the design of the Ultra, I absolutely love it. Such a nice boo. Soul Plate, it's killer. Anyway, that's the Ultra 1.1 Turbo, showing you the futures, moving on. Okay, so apart from new products, collaborations, Puma drops, new boots, the restrictions, the lockdown restrictions in Melbourne have finally lifted. So this means we're moving towards community sport, we're moving towards more training sessions, we're moving towards retail opening, cafes, restaurants, all that kind of stuff. So in terms of uh, how that affects my life, means that we're gonna be able to do more and more on the pitch and less on the balcony. I'll probably still do some training sessions on the balcony because we've got a good balcony. It's a nice little place. It's a nice little area to train. So I've been moving out onto the pitch. I've done some sessions now. I've done two sessions. I did one with Dee and uh, then I did one by myself with Theo Aravanas. So he's the head coach of their team. He Obviously Dee plays in that team. That's how I met him. And he started doing sessions and I've been training with him which is fantastic because I need someone to push me to that next level. Like I can train by myself and I can go on 10K. Like now I can run over an hour. I can just keep going. You know, I've built up a good engine. Um, I've been working on my skills or my touch, everything like that. But you need someone just to push you along to keep that intensity, to do the one twos, the quick passes, receiving on the back foot, those kind of game things. And also to get switched on, you know? So like we'll put some colors down and you might say yellow, so I have to check to yellow and then I have to receive them back foot, play, all that kind of stuff. Um, and the next one might be white or blue, which is really good and it's perfect. It's what I need in terms of when I begin to play again and start playing futsal. Other than this, we also got a cat. We got a cat. So now we've got a cat, we called him Leo. I'm gonna show you guys, yeah? Look, he's he's been sleeping now. Leo, we got Leo as a rescue. We got him like with three or four, maybe five weeks um, to go in the lockdown. Leo, obviously Leo Messi. Leo, a bit of fur there, man. That's the other thing with this cat, man, fur everywhere. Leo Messi, Leo Lion, he's a cat, yeah, so I thought Leo's a great fit. So yeah, we, 
we got the K's new edition. Um, and that's about it, guys. You know, that's all that's been happening. Other than that, Champions League, been watching loads of football, been watching plenty of Premier League. Um, I did a sit-in, so he did like a Zoom chat with La Liga, which was really good fun. We sat in, there was like, uh, I want to say maybe five Barca fans, five uh, Real Madrid fans. It was, it was great, it was nice. It started at 1 a.m. and we watched it through to 3 a.m. So we were tired uh, <laughs> at the end of it, but it was good fun. Unfortunately, Barca lost. Barca having a tough time right now, hoping they can do the job against the events tomorrow morning. Anyway, guys, we've talked a lot here. Yeah, I've shown you some new products and stuff. Neymar Tees, Kid Super, loads of Puma gear. The new futures are unbelievable. Trust me when I say that, yeah? Guys, until next time, thank you very much for all the likes, comments, for subscribing. If you follow me on Instagram, thank you very much. Honestly, it means uh, the world to me. See you next time.